Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about mystery packs and finally we have figured out what mystery packs are. They are just repacks. So they are identical artworks um, and Mana, Mana Crypt is being reprinted in a repack. So we will be able to take a total look at the list of magic cards available, Mana Crypt being one of them. And they actually had this tournament where I don't know why they're doing this, but I'll show you every single card that they played. Um, there, they were test cards, which eventually could be quite valuable. So uh, whoever is at that tournament, make sure to take home those pieces of paper. Then again, it would be kind of hard to verify that. I've always found it kind of strange because couldn't you just print it on a printer just like what they did? So when we talk about repacks, uh, we're talking about Chaos Draft, and essentially, it's exactly what I told you it would be. It is a very lazy way to reprint as many cards as possible. So I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but Magic the Gathering, as of late, has been very lazy. I mean, there's been reprinted set after reprinted set. Um, I, I can... I can't even remember. I guess Throne of the Elderin is the last non. But even that has been reprinted already in the Collector's Edition. So it's not like they created better or more interesting cards. They just use these same cards. And I will be very frank with you. I think this is a very lazy way to make a game where your player base, you know, you're known for creativity. You're known for a lot of really good stuff. But when you do something like this it is you hype it up only to and here we're looking at the actual cards they're playing with and i'm sure you can figure out these are just reprints uh they're obviously the name is different but the card effect you can very easily figure out what card they are referencing it just seems kind of lazy to me i don't know if i'm the only one who feels this way but i definitely feel this way uh, all these cards that are being reprinted. Uh, so we do know that um, Mana Crypt is one of them. And they are like a second edition of it. So Chronicles is white bordered. And that's how you kind of like, well, the symbol is different. But you would really know from Chronicles itself. But the Mana Crypt has a little symbol on the side. And the symbol is the Planeswalker symbol. The uh, symbol with the points up in the air. And that's how you know it's like kind of a second edition of that card. So you have the initial edition in the set, or maybe even a reprint of the card. And then in this reprint, which is just a repack of all the cards, you would have... Honestly, I don't like it. I think it's actually quite bad that they are behaving this way. I know they probably think these images and the Magic Fest, Richmond, Mystery Boosters, that it's funny and uh, everyone's laughing and having a good time. I just don't see why it has to be hyped up like this and then only for people to be like, oh, so a mystery pack is just a repack. Like Walmart. Hmm. I wonder who would buy this stuff, right? I wonder who would buy it. Walmart, casual players, right? So actually, uh, they're not actual repacks. There's a little planeswalker symbol that looks to be printed on the bottom left corner of the card. Uh, they have a Planeswalker symbol in the bottom left. So unless they ran all these repacks back through the printer again. So the argument right now is, are these new cards or are these old cards? They're obviously new cards. And Gavin, who works at Wizards of the Coast, said that they are fresh prints. They are all freshly printed cards. To everyone reading this, I would suggest waiting to see the full set list assembled before drawing any conclusions about the excitement level of reprints in this set, smiley face. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, definitely exactly what I expected. I did not expect them to have like a creative new set. Uh, I expected them to reprint. What I was expecting was you would get, um, you would have a, a pack of a like, Lorwyn. And then you would wrap it in your mystery pack, just like, you know, what um, Walmart does, right? So in a chaos box, right? 
So this is the Chaos box, and we're hyping the set when it truly is just reprinted. You do know, like, when you reprint something, um, when you reprint something, it actually takes almost no work to reprint it. So, I am pretty intrigued. And the way that they um the way that they went ahead to reprint these cards made it seem like they're new cards, but really they're just uh, reprints. Oh my god, there's so many reprints all the time. I I hope they reprint Ristic Study. That's got to be a really good one for Commander, even if it's like a rare or maybe a mythic, it would still be okay. So the reprints seem to be primarily modern cards and then older cards like Toxin Sliver. Uh, it goes as far back as Mercadian Mask. Uh, Riley opened a Visions card, so at least as Weatherlight. So Chaos Drafts are popular GP events. Sorry, Magic Fest. Supplies of older packs are dwindling and they're creeping up in price point that it's unrealistic to supply every draft with 24 unique packs and the most recent GPs Magic Fest I've been to two or three of the same packs in them that makes sense uh, problem is quite a few of us get overhyped guilty expecting there would be a ton of EV in these things with literally no basis for it so naturally people are disappointed and yes part of the blame is on wizards for that but hype is self perpetuating if it's not tempered with some grounding. Shame, product seems neat, we'll probably play a few. So it's kind of like conspiracy, right? It's a, it's almost like conspiracy, except it's all reprints. I mean, it's interesting. It's exactly what I expected, more reprints. Um, I assume there's no reserve list cards. Uh, that is correct. $7 a pack. $7 a pack. Mystery Booster Sealed is $45 and Eldrain Sealed is $35. So it indicates the packs are likely $2 more than normal, which would be $6. That's the best guess at least. Uh, so they already kind of know the prices of it. Yeah, this is Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. They overhype something and they didn't under deliver. It's the old, hey, you like magic? I like magic, so now get hyped for nothing. Uh, this will be very interesting because everything is up for grabs now. Every single card can be reprinted. Minus reserve list cards, because they're going really back. They're going to make Kading Mask, which tells me that it's legacy. Maybe we get Force of Will again, which would be kind of nice from Alliance. Um, I'm hoping to get Ristic Study, which would be really good. Uh, overall, I'm not disappointed. I'm just not amazed. I think they could have designed it better if the repack was them printing like a Lauren set and then wrapping it in paper. Uh, just like how the Chaos Mystery Pack does in Walmart. And they sell a ton. So my distributor is Walmart. And they're always very sh shocked and surprised that I don't want to buy their Mystery Chaos Packs because that's their number one bestseller. Uh, that's what makes them 70% of their income is either in a mystery cube or the chaos mystery pack because people just like opening stuff like that. And especially at Walmart. Uh, Target, I don't know. Uh, I actually am talking with a Target distributor soon. Are there any new cards in this set? It looks like Tilbolt might be new. Uh, wow, these are not exciting. New alt, alt, no alternative art, no new frames. I haven't seen a foil mythic pulled yet. Well, I mean, there was one. People like Chaos Draft to discover random synergies between setting up between sets. This is the worst aspect of magic. It's loot box nature multiplied tenfold. Yeah, I mean, basically, uh, what they did was they made this product for Walmart. This is the ideal product from Walmart. I probably can get these on the cheap. I'm going to talk to the distributor. But really, they do a bad job of um, expectation handling. Because I think they know that people are disappointed. And they know, I mean, they definitely know that this is not the product that was promised. 
Uh, and the creativity of the team is very low. It's like insanely low. When I really put my mind to it, I'm kind of embarrassed how uncreative the team is and why we just had to continue to reprint everything to oblivion. Yes, it's interesting, but my gosh, why can't can we not come up with new ideas? Like we're coming, we're going back to Pharaoh soon. My gosh. <laughs>